Hi, welcome to Market Flow. I'm going to do a quick review and analysis of Wall Street Bet's most popular stocks, as well as some of the most interesting YOLOs that happened this week. Stick around for that. Like the video, subscribe. As a quick warning, many of these stocks are highly shorted. Maybe they have different reasons why they move. Therefore, the analysis that I might do here may not apply for everyone. It is mainly my own opinion. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and start. So AMC lost is previous support right here. It was about 52. It lost that one. It tried to regain it, but then it got rejected. And then it's right now trading along this downtrend. So it's downtrending and momentum on the RSI for the daily is still on the downside, just like that. Um, it had a pretty good support right here at 40. So they have to maintain that and then get above this trend line, regain 53. That'll probably be the most bullish case right there to keep up trending. Um, worst case scenario is closing below 40. They probably have to drop a little bit more if that happens. 55, 35, that's where the 50 moving average is, or maybe 40, 25. This is where there used to be a lot of buyers. But again, um, the bull side right now is to get above this trend line right here and then close above previous support. Blackberry, we mentioned last week that 11 was going to be a good support level and it did act as a good support. It bounced from there. Uh, it currently got out of this downtrend right here. We got to see how far it goes. As you can see, it already closed this gap. So I'm going to take that out of the way. And I think the next resistance level is 1230. So you can see it going all the way over there. Um, perhaps getting above it will be a bull sign right now and then probably to start uptrending again. CLF looks pretty bullish right now. It got a pretty good bounce from the 50 moving average. Um, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see how it has been respecting this um, trend line, up trend line right here. Every time it gets about this level, there's quite a bit of buyers. So that's been happening since March right here. Still up trending, pretty good. Um, right now, it looks like it's probably running towards earnings and momentum everything looks very positive it's currently at resistance right here crossing above it can cause another impulsive move all the way to 20 44 2050 so clean energy right now it's looking like it's bottoming um my target was eight dollars and before we got there there were a lot of buyers right here seems like the 200 moving average just like in here it's a strong support for this stock so I can see it making another impulsive move to the upside. Next resistance level is 1044. So it's matched the, the 20 moving average. Crossing that 20 moving average, I think we can go all the way to 1225. So it's looking pretty good. Right now, if I look at it in the one day chart right here, you can see how it's broken the trend. It's back testing it, this level right here. So, so far so good. It's probably going to do a pre running run all the way to earnings um the only down thing side here that i shared last week is that there were a lot of insiders selling within the last few months but um other than that the stock looks like it's about to reverse clover is still downtrending um but it's finally i believe finding a little bit of support so you can see this is probably in a while um two days in a row it stayed within the same level so this should act a little bit of support like 910 920 right here you can see how it used to be resistance and it was the breakout level right here so i can see a lot of buyers stepping up here um perhaps this is a point where some short sellers are going to cover and that's pretty much it um like all the indicators in the short term look oversold so i can see an oversold bounce at least to the 50 moving average maybe to 1120 what it used to be resistance hey so gamestop right now it's still downtrending and it's still following this downtrend right here it hasn't been able to get above it and close and starts making higher highs from there so that is a little bit of a warning right there it did find support around 190 and that is the hope for the bulls right now is that this level doesn't break it stays above it 
and perhaps it um, starts getting momentum to the upside if i look at it in the one day chart right here this is the worst case scenario that i talk about that this could be an abc and it can go all the way to the bottom of this range right here somewhere around 115 108 so that is probably the worst case scenario otherwise if you'd be able to get a hold of 190 here and starts uh, making high highs so or at least moving sideways here that would be a good sign for the bulls the pound here right now i believe that correction and my target got rich my target was about 2218 and it got bought up right before then um so i believe this correction it's over in my opinion um it closed above the 50 moving average that is a pretty good sign right now so usually um that means it's probably going to go back all the way to the 20 moving average somewhere around 25 that will be the next target and if you look at it here in the one day chart right now um, you can see how this level right here 2272 acted as a good support in the past and the fact that it closed above it it got back tested that is a good sign for the bulls hopefully it starts making higher highs and it closes about the 20 moving average that would be a good sign for continuing uptrending so right now pay safe is looking very good in my opinion uh, looking like it's about to reverse you can see the rsi right here of trending this is a really good sign last week we set up a target for 11 and that it got rich and now the buyers got all the way to the 20 moving average um next support i mean yeah the next resistance level is 1272 so the bulls have to get above this level right here above the 50 moving average but nonetheless about 1272 that would be a good sign for a lot of momentum a lot of traders to get in because then it's going to be a breakout from this range that it has been trading and then eventually it's going to move another impulsive move perhaps all the way to 14 and beyond so those are my thoughts here it's looking good right now um closing below 11 i think will be a little bit of a bearish sign nonetheless i take momentum and everything looks positive so far right now it's still down trending as you can see um the bad thing about it is that it broke below its support level 1764 so now it is within this range right here so somewhere around 14 70 14 14 should be um, resistance levels or support levels now so my target right now for sofi is to get about 1370 that is the last time where there were a lot of buyers right here this week right here so if it gets to that point i will say to myself that it's a pretty good deal risk to reward should be really good to buyers um, however it does still look like it's downtrending and even though the error size looks like it can do an oversold bounce anytime soon you have this resistance level 1760 so it has to cross above 1760 um, and then confirm the support level and start uptrending to look bullish otherwise i think still in a downtrend right now so talk right now it was i don't know it showed that it was trending so i wanted to take a look why so talk it's used to be a spac it looks like it you can see that high was trading right here within the 10 dollar range and then eventually fall right here pretty hard all the way to 670 so right now i couldn't find any post from wall street so my thought is that it's probably a algorithm um scrolling algorithm error that pick up talk talk it's a very common word to so maybe pick it up as a ticker um, nonetheless i wanted to take a look at it is it a good deal it's hard to tell this is a startup i look it up right here um, they really make no money right now they're just building a company um, they really have no records like you say here no revenue nothing the only thing not even news right now so the only thing here is that if you're an insider maybe you know anything about the company you probably know there's something coming out big maybe it's a big deal the one thing that i found it's here um i like to look on this side i like to look um the stocks that who owns the stock who has been buying it that gives you a little bit of insight of institutions if they think it's a good stock or a bad stock anyway 
here i found a few things these are purchases that happened in the last month you can see right here 620 620 so there is um one two three four five companies they bought quite a bit of the stock and i'm not exactly sure why they bought 68 million dollars 73 million dollars 74 million dollars 100 million dollars and 200 million dollars those are big numbers right now for such a small company in my opinion i don't know why it's happening right now um, but look at this this one has ownership of 53 30 20 i don't even know how these numbers add up um look at this 20 20 20 30 50 like this is more than a hundred percent so i don't know how this adds up um i think i made a video before about how this add up like perhaps there is um like one company selling to the other one and then they got doubled uh printed on the record i don't know this to me it sounds very interesting why these institutions are buying so much and some of them um they only have this one stock 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent so i'm i'm not very familiar with how this works and why some companies only own one company but there's really something going on here with this company why they bought so much they bought it definitely at these levels that we're looking at so either they're insiders they're probably just investors looking to buy a good deal um so earnings is coming up i don't know i mean if you know anything about this company and let me know put it in the comments below i would like to know so tillery right now uh, it's still downtrending and it got here to this level which is a little bit of support level 200 moving average and uh, uh, 1580 level so it closed above it that's good uh, we talked about it that there is a possibility of an abc coming all the way to 1250 that's probably what i would see a pretty good deal on this stock anywhere on this um, range right here 10 to 12 um, so that's what i see right now if i look at it in the one hour chart uh, it has to hold this level and then start trending above all moving average perhaps all the way to 17 to start looking bullish otherwise it just looks like it's down trending still and if it breaks this level the next support level will be about 1380 so wish right now is still down trending ever since he broke this uptrend right here is sold impulsively i found a little bit of support right here about this level you can see that in the past there used to be buyers right here uh, and there used to be a gap right here um, so i can see that um, however if you lose this level right here my target is about 880 that's where i found pretty good value uh, risk to reward um, otherwise for the bulls the best case scenario is to move above 1180 above the 20 moving average that will be a pretty good sign of strength for the bulls and then maybe getting above 1288 so that will definitely make it um, more of a reversal a scenario and that's probably where more traders can start jumping in the workhorse right now is still downtrending there's good things for the bulls it got a pretty good bounce here from the gap right here so as soon as he closed the gap there were a lot of buy limits that were triggered right here you can see that right here this is the breakout level a lot of buy um, limits that got triggered right here he got all the way above the 20 moving average right now the most important thing for the bulls is to get above um, 1388 and then use it as support like they used to and then hopefully start uptrending from there that would be probably the best case scenario that's probably where more traders are going to start jumping in into the trade more momentum otherwise if it keeps down trending right now my target somewhere around 990 uh, and that used to be a little bit of support right here that was before the breakout so that is it for workhorse um okay so on this section i'm going to do a quick review of the yellows for this week they're yellows that i found interesting 
I'm going to review some of the technicals if I think it's worthwhile doing it. If I already done it, I'm just going to put the link above. So right now, Logi, this person with the name of Special 2, he bet about $15,000. He's up currently $600 on this particular stock. If I look at it right now, Logi here uh, technically had a pretty good run a few weeks ago and it's retracing a little bit found support on the 50 moving average perhaps it's getting ready to do another run or maybe an abc so it's a little bit of risk right here but earnings are coming up so perhaps this is a bet towards earning next one it's baba this person goes by the name of blue one he's betting about 200k out of the money calls for um 716 and then 50k on shares right here as you can see and then the other one here that I found, so I found two on Baba. There's many in Baba, but this one as well. Baba, uh, 10 displays, Jack might died at 198. It can go any lower than that. So it looks like Baba is looking um, like an overreaction from Chinese news. And there's definitely really strong investors in this company like Charlie Munger and others. So this level right here, as we can see, uh, has been a very strong support level in the past. Like every time it hits this level, there's buyers right here. It happened recently, it gapped down and then it was bought up right away the next day. Uh, we get to see a little bit of continuation, but yeah, RSI very sold oversold right now um it did this fake breakout right here and i was pretty excited about it as well with other chinese stocks my my thoughts on this is that there's an overreaction from um chinese news and then these stocks are going to bounce eventually but that's just me this one's another yolo lack so he has about a uh, hundred 200k and two thousand dollars in options so he's already up $1,000 and $10,000 respectively here. So lack those lithium batteries, I believe. And if I look at the chart right now, it does look like it's battering. It looks like it's trying to reverse. And you can see this level right here, 13. That's a level where there has been a lot of buyers. So definitely risk to rework. It doesn't sound as bad. Even when it broke below it, there was quickly a lot of buyers that pushed the price higher so it's trading with this range as soon as it breaks this range there's probably going to be a lot of more momentum not sure much about their fundamentals but technically it does look good it does look good in my opinion look at the error side trending with upper momentum right there okay so this one it's on apple and not all money has to be done on small caps like you can make a lot of money on large caps so this one is on apple and um, the person goes by away dream 4290 and he bought this call options 25 contracts uh, and this is a cool thing about it um, he's almost up three times his money uh, so his initial investment looks like it was somewhere like two thousand dollars and then so far he has made two times what he invested and these are calls for 150 they expire on a 20 so there's plenty of time usually when this way out of the money uh calls when there's a rebound they gain a lot of a lot of value so that's 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 uh i mean if the stock gets all the way to 160 which is some of my targets uh he should do very well so let's go ahead with the next amd so this person had options or maybe they bought it about 9.90 cents right here as you can see and this person goes by the name of john moon 78.91 um so it looks like it was an easy call for him so he probably bought at the bottom he doubled his money on the options right away and then he has uh, a few amount of chairs right there 3000 shares so if you go amd right here you can see that this level and we talk about it in my channel it once it broke up it did a back test so if you miss this entry if you miss this run uh, people who are waiting on the silence were waiting for the test of the breakout level which is here and it was going to coincide with the 20 moving average very strong support 
this person looked like he bought right here at the bottom and it got paid off so congratulations next i don't understand how people still think airlines are on the edge of bankruptcy look at this mad ship calls so yes he did buy about five thousand dollars four thousand dollars in calls he has calls for 23 and 23 and a half 90 contracts so if you look at american airlines and yeah of course american airlines um balance sheet it's horrible <laughs> but technical there has been a lot of buyers at this level right here so he probably bought somewhere or maybe right, right here on the next day anyway anywhere between 19 and 20 this is a pretty good buying zone every time it hits this level lots of buyers and then it creates an impulsive move it has done it quite a bit so i wouldn't be afraid if it does again especially since maybe airlines have been doing a lot better more more expectations for earnings coming up soon so that one is it and then last this yolo for clover um so there's a 100k here for clover and they're about about a nine dollars and eighty cents so i believe clover is still a little bit below this but um this is it for today uh yeah one more let's throw here one more so this one is for cleveland right here yeah, i think this one's pretty good he paid about fifty thousand dollars he's up four hundred dollars so far i think my grandfather will be happy to see how this his money is being used so he probably inherits some money from his grandfather stunk moon 42069 so there he goes um, we review already this stock right here. So this one is looking good. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Let me know what's your favorite YOLO. Put it in the comments below. If you have a play for this week that I probably didn't mention, put it as well in the comments below. Let me know. Let us all know what you think about the market. Have a good day.